I know of a first-class choir director. He has taught choruses in public schools. He conducts church choirs. He composes and arranges beautiful music. He has been organist for a magnificent church in Los Angeles. But he is also fascinated by law and did well in law school. Today he combines his unique capabilities in law and music as legal counsel to one of the great recording companies in the music industry. No pigeon-holing survey could have placed him in this position. Although the results can be interesting and no doubt can give you insights, most talent or aptitude tests are relics of the industrial age. The better ones describe your attributes and traits so that you can discern multiple sources of strength in yourself. The key to their usefulness is a fundamental shift in thinking. You need to seriously reflect on the kind of contribution you want to make rather than the kind of function you want to have. You see, you are not your function. The industrial worker says, I want to be a microbiologist. This is a function. Of course you must be educated in microbiology if you hope to contribute to the field. But the word microbiologist does not define you. The knowledge worker says, I have an inquisitive nature. I am persistent and painstaking and very much at home in the bio lab. I want to use these talents to help develop food plants that are more resistant to disease. This is a contribution. Not even the best talent test can tell you about your uniqueness. The knowledge worker above goes on to say, I grew up knowing about plants. Other kids knew about athletics or music. I knew the scientific names of dozens of different tomato plants. I could tell you which tomatoes were good for sauce, for processing, or for eating. I guess I was a little odd. Thank goodness every one of us is a little odd in some way like this. We all know people for whom something comes easily or naturally. You know the gardener who unfailingly grows the most beautiful flowers. You've seen the athlete whose grace and power just flow from her. We know a man who never makes a spelling error. He can spell any word he hears without hesitating. Everyone has a unique gift. Often we have several. It seems to be a natural principle. So what comes naturally to you? Think about it. What do you do easily and well? What do people ask you to do because you're good at it? Whether or not you like what you do well, that we'll deal with later. If someone were to ask your boss or co-workers to list your talents, what would they say?